Hi everyone, welcome all of you to my channel. So here I am with a few questions from CSI net physical science paper. So let's have a discussion on the question. So this is a question uh, from Newton's Option method. So this is a question from Newton's Option method carrying 5 marks in the part C. So the function was given x equal to 4 and the first iteration was given. The question was asked to find the next iteration. So here you can take the function as x minus 4. If you take the first derivative of this function, then it will become 1, okay. So, then you can use this formula f x n n plus 1 equal x n minus f x n by first derivative of the function at x equal to x n. So, here I am substituting the value of f x as x n minus 1 and the first derivative of the function is 1. So, it will coming like uh, 4. So, x n plus 1 is equal to 4, but the uh, question was asked to find the reciprocal of it. So, the reciprocal of it means 1 by x n plus 1 that is 1 by 4 so the answer will be 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 will be correct answer to the question so this is the answer to the question so move to the next question this question is very important and uh, i think this is uh, one of the uh, famous question from divide theory of solids so the question was asked that the density of state was given the density of state was given like d is varying as omega square so then uh, you have change the density of the solid into double that is the density of the solid become double then how divide temperature will be changed so how theta d will change so first of all from this information that is density of state is varying uh, with omega square you can uh, equate this to equal to d by a s minus 1 because as i mentioned density of state is always proportional to omega to the power d by s minus 1 so here d by s minus 1 is equal to 2 so d by s equal to 3 so s by d will be 3 by 2 now you know theta d equal to sc by kvt 3 n by 4 pi to the power 1 by 3 so theta d is varying as 1 by third uh, power of n that is the number density of the solid so if you uh, take the ratio and uh, substitute n2 as 2 of n1 because the density of the solid become double so your theta d2 will be theta d1 into 2 to the power 1 by 3 that is your dy temperature will increase by the factor of 2 to the power 1 by 3 so i think this option will be correct answer to the question that is dy temperature will increase by the factor of 2 to the power 1 by 3 okay so move to the next question so the next question was from uh, projectile motion classical mechanics so the question was asked that a projectile is thrown and it will attain the maximum height okay so you can use, use this formula h equal to u square sin square theta by 2g so theta equal to 90 your height becomes u square by 2g now the condition was that the velocity is equal to half of the escape velocity of the earth that is u is equal to half the escape velocity of the earth and you know the escape velocity of the earth is 2rg root over okay so i am substituting here o 2rg root over by 2 so now u square will become 2rg by 4 so 2 to 2 is cancel is 4 it will give 4rg by 2 so now you have to substitute this u square as for rg by 2 in this equation okay so now height become rg by 2 and there already 2g was there so 2g so it will gg cancel so it will become r by 4 so now h by r is equal to 1 by 4 so answer was 1 by 4 to this question because they have asked to find the ratio of height to the uh, radius of the r that is 1 by 4 so this is the correct answer to the question so move to the next question so next question is from doppler broadening this question was in part c for 5 marks so the question was given like uh, i think there are there are two galaxies like uh, given and uh, individual temperature are given one galaxy having temperature 10 to the power 6 and uh, other having temperature 10 to the power 4 then they find uh, they have asked to find the ratio of the mu 2 by mu 1 so you can directly substitute this formula that is del mu d that is Doppler broadening frequency is equal to v by c to kt by m root over so here you can find mu is varying as the root over of t so you can take directly the ratio that is del mu 2 by del mu 1 is become t2 by t1 root over so substitute uh, t2 i think uh, this was asked to del mu 1 by del mu 2 so it will be t1 by t2 so it will be 10 to the 6 by 10 to the 4 root over so 100 root over is 10 so answer will be 10 to this question this was asked i think mu 1 by mu 2 okay otherwise the answer will be 1 by 10 okay so if it is mu 1 by mu 2 mu 1 by mu 2 then the answer will be 10 otherwise it will be 1 by 10 
so thank you so much here i have uh, four question taken from csr net physical sense so hope uh, you enjoyed the session thank you so much for watching my videos